Hello everybody, I am Peter Paul Verbeek, I'm a professor in the philosophy of technology at the University of Twente in the Netherlands and I'm also a member of COMEST, UNESCO's World Commission on the Ethics of Science and Technology. Over the past two years, COMEST has been working on a report on the ethics of robots and in this short video I would like to explain to you its main content. First of all, the report tries to identify what sets robots apart from other technologies that we have in our society. And their main characteristic then, obviously, maybe, is their autonomy, their ability to act on their own, as it were. Robots can do that because of the algorithms that they have now. There's artificial intelligence in robots because of which they can learn, and also because of which they can then do things beyond what their designers asked them to do. Their behavior is ultimately not deterministic and cannot be entirely somehow predicted, but is the result of a learning process between the robot and its environment. A central line in the report is that we believe that it's important to identify realms in society where we believe that we should be careful with non-deterministic robots. Some decisions, we believe, always require meaningful human control, especially when it's about decisions about life and death. Also, the report identifies a number of social domains where robots increasingly play a role, from industry to the military, from healthcare to education, and from the domestic environment and public spaces to social and even intimate relations. In the report, we investigated the central values that are at stake in those societal domains, and also how robots might have an influence in those domains that put those values at stake. This, hopefully, enables us to take responsibility for robots in such a way that we can take those values seriously when we design, use and implement robots in our social world. Ultimately, the report should be seen as an attempt to make sense of the growing role of robots in our social world and also of the new responsibilities that this brings to humans in order to make sure that we can live in a good coexistence with the new type of technologies that we are developing.